Thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, so let's start a little bit about what attracted you to the character of Mac. Well, um, I, I love Mac from the comic book series. She has, she's, she's just this tough little street rat and I, I love her like mad. And she has so many layers to her. She's a far more complicated creature than she lets on. And I love every bit of her. That's okay. That's great. And I think everything you said is spot on. That's for sure. Um, what was it that attracted you to the show in general too? Ooh, anything timey-wimey I'm, I'm in for. Ah, tiny one. There you go. <laughs> I like that. Now, obviously, huge comic book series, iconic character from the comic series. Were there any pressures that you felt in um, taking on this role and, and being a part of this big universe? Right. I, I, I really want to make sure that I'm, I'm doing the character justice as Mac in the comic book series. She's just, she's just absolutely amazing. So I, I, I almost feel as if there are two versions of Mac, the mm -hmm. Mac that exists in the comic book series and then the Mac that I've sort of created, just sort of my interpretation. Okay, I like that, that's kind of cool. Definitely something different for sure. What are you hoping audiences enjoy the most when it comes to this, uh, this series? Ooh, well, that's the thing about this, this show that I love so much is that there are so many different elements that different people can connect to mm -hmm. and, and enjoy. There's if you if you like uh, if you like special effects we have amazing amazing special effects if you like um, heartwarming coming of age stories we have the paper girls who are just trying to navigate um, their young lives and there are so many if you like time travel we've got plenty of that so there's <laughs> so many different things that people can I think look at and enjoy you know something like that you know yeah no that's fine that's fine that's that's great um and actually i kind of want to back up on your character for just a second there um you know she, she represents so many wonderful things and obviously i think she's going to be a beacon for audiences as well what do you hope um audiences take away from mac when this when this season is over well i would say that mm, i hope that people I, I first of all i hope that people will be able to stick with her because at the beginning of the series, when we first find her, she has a lot to work on, to say the mm -hmm. least, and a lot to learn. And I think, though, that Mac is is ready to learn, and she wants to learn, and she wants to do better. And I hope that people can can be inspired by the way that she grows and changes from the beginning of the series to the end of the season. Okay. All right. Last question for you today. What are you most proud of when it comes to your time on this show? Ooh, hmm. Dang. <laughs> ah, hmm. I'm gonna have to say, um, I sort of my goal in in uh, my career this far is I, I hope to become a chameleon. So I hope to, with whatever character I'm playing, I hope that from this character I'll look like a completely different person. This one, completely different. So I, I kind of hope that, that I've accomplished that with Mac. So that's, that's one thing that I, I can say I'm sort of proud of because I, at least I don't, I flatter myself to think I don't, um, that I was sort of a chameleon on this one. Okay, all right. I like that a lot. Well, that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Looking forward to everybody seeing the show here. Thank you, weeks. John. Thank you.